as significant as 1989 when the Berlin Wall came down. Overwhelmingly, the story of 2012 is uh, centered in the Middle East. Hi, I'm Matt Welch for Reason TV, and I'm joined today by Arch Puddington. He's the Vice President for Research at Freedom House. Freedom House is a great organization that every year publishes the Freedom of the World Index. Been doing that since 1972. Uh, the 2012 Index is uh, freshly out. Uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, kind of headline findings of that uh, in this very tumultuous uh, year that we've lived in uh, through 2011. Overwhelmingly, the story of 2012 is uh, centered in the Middle East, as significant as 1989 when the Berlin Wall came down. Uh, people were inspired by events in, in Egypt. Uh, they started demanding their rights, and the uh, leadership pushed back. And you had arrests, killings, detentions, exilings, the usual uh, crummy events that you see in dictatorships. I've used the Freedom House over the years, and, and uh, you're right in talking about 1989 as being this transformational year. Give us a little bit of the historical uh, sweep of that. How, do, how does the planet look compared to 1972? Uh, in 1972, uh, freedom was restricted pretty much to Western Europe, North America, and a few uh, English language speaking countries scattered around the world. And that was pretty much the extent of uh, political freedom and the rest of the world was either partly free or not free. There was very little freedom then. Uh, by the year 2000, that had completely changed. Uh, most of the world was democratic. Uh, most, uh, much of the world was free. And the dictatorships had shrunk rather considerably. Tell us a little bit about the origins of Freedom House. The index came out in 1972. Who started it? Who funded it? How much is the CIA involved? That's what everyone always asks me. Uh, what, is, what is the history and kind of purpose of uh, Freedom House? Well, Freedom House was started in 1941 at a time when Roosevelt wanted uh, an organization of eminent Americans that would move the country away from isolationism. Basically, we were a, a non-governmental organization set up to help guide the country towards involvement in that war. Um, we've never gotten um, money from the CIA. Uh, plenty of journalists have looked into that. Uh, they found all kinds of organizations that were funded by the CIA, but uh, not Freedom House. Uh, in uh, one of the press release documents for the new report, there's this note about immigration in Western Europe and in North America. In the face of the most serious economic crisis, these countries remained unwilling or unable to develop effective policy to ensure assimilation and fair treatment of immigrants. Uh, things getting worse in the developed West in terms of treatment towards uh, immigrants? I, I think they are getting worse. Um, you, you have a, uh, now you have a kind of a twin phenomena. First, you have the hostility to immigrants, especially from the Muslim world. And you're starting to see laws being passed in countries like Belgium and France. Uh, that criminalize uh, wearing uh, headscarves and burqas and that sort of thing. They like to have them there to do the work, but they don't really regard them as French or as German or as Danes or, or whatever. Give us a, uh, something to be uh, happy about as we uh, look into 2012. What's a country that's uh, moving forward maybe off of the uh, radar screen? Uh, Tunisia, I would say, is the number one positive story of the past year and certainly of the Arab Spring. And it's uh, potentially uh, a model, and it's shown a kind of uh, intelligent pragmatism as opposed to vengeance-seeking and its uh, attitude towards the old elites. Uh, how is uh, the United States trending right now on the, on the things that you measure aside from immigration? The reaction to the, Wall, the Occupy Wall Street movement, uh, there was a little harsh police um, uh, tactics, and we actually deducted a point from the American score because of that. Uh, but I would say that the condition of the ship of state is wobbling. Uh, sometimes these things are not reflected in, in our scores, but uh, the problems that we see uh, can't necessarily be measured in freedom in the world, but they're obviously of concern. Well, we can all uh, wobble forward uh, together. Arch Puddington from Freedom House, thank you very much. For Reason TV, I'm Matt Welch.